and it's for precisely reasons just like that why I like the Einstein D so much. The three burst potential if you land the precision shots is oh so tasty. So the Einstein D is a low rate of fire high impact pulse rifle and it can be useful in the meta going on right now as long as you're very careful with your positioning. We've talked about this before. Long sight lines with this type of pulse rifle. You want to continue a nice distance between you and your opponent and land those precision shots. Goodbye to player I think is going to outshoot the Einstein player 9 times out of 10. And I can't really tell you guys why I like this weapon so much. Maybe it's because it's got a unique body design. Maybe it's because very few people are covering it on YouTube. Or maybe it's just because I don't know. I, I like pulse rifles. Let's take a look at the perks. First of all, we have high impact reserves. A little bit extra damage at the bottom of the magazine. I'll talk about that in a second. Ricochet rounds versus accurized rounds. I went with ricochet because... I don't know, I like the stability of this thing to be a little bit more manageable. And then GB Iron versus the SD Thermal Sight. The SD Thermal gives you the extra range, but at the cost of the handling, and the handling already is probably the weakest feature of this entire pulse rifle. High impact frame just means I hit hard and I fire very slowly, so don't miss your shots on that type of pulse rifle. Recoil is up and to the left. But it's not bad recoil, as you can see here. It's fairly easy to manage. I hate trying to manage, like, horizontal recoil. It's so weird when you go back to a weapon that you don't have to manage it for. But, again, with other pulse rifles we've reviewed on the channel, once you learn the recoil pattern and if you land your shots, these can actually be very viable. Tired of having to use cover and positioning? <laughs> Us too. That's why you need to equip Blink. With Blink, all you need to do, spam the jump button, run straight at your opponent, and spam, spam, spam. They'll have no idea where you went. You'll disappear above them, and the FOV of six makes it very disorienting. Oh, oh, nope, never mind. So the Einstein D is going to deal 26. I, why did I say the gun name so weird right there? Einstein D. Deals 26 precision damage and 16 body damage normally, and it deals 27 and 17 damage when you have high impact reserves activated. That's that perk we talked about a second ago. When you reach 12 shots left in the magazine, it gives you that little damage bump. Now, even without that perk activated, 26 precision damage is nuts. That's a ton. If you learn how to manage the recoil and play to this weapon's strengths, Meaning you're landing your precision shots, that's a three burst kill. Easily three burst kill. Making this a fantastic team weapon if you're in a, uh, you know, a, an environment where you can work with the squad and, and put some real coordinated action down some sight lines. But I never liked using this weapon in try hard games. The, the few matches that I had where I versed like some really coordinated squads, I was wishing I had something like my Uriel's Mida, Prosecutor, almost any of the other S tier stuff out there. So while it's a very fun matchmaking weapon and I enjoyed it because it's not being used a whole lot, I wouldn't make this my try hard weapon that the base handling on it is eh, and maybe I just don't know how to manage the recoil that well. Now it's named after Einstein Hartansen was from Old Norse mythology. According to Inglinga Saga, Einstein died on a Viking raid to Varna. <coughs> oh, ow. <coughs> on the eastern side of Oslofjord, Einstein's men had finished looting and pillaging the area and were already almost across the fjord when King Skjöld of Varna, a great warlock, arrived at the beach and saw the sails of Einstein's ships. He waved his cloak and blew into it, which caused a boom. One of the ships swung and hit Einstein so that he fell overboard and drowned. His body was salvaged and buried in a mound at Bore. Einstein was succeeded by his son Haftan the Mild. So in conclusion, I like this weapon, give it a try if you get it. The high impact tier of pulse rifles can be quite useful if you learn how to manage them and play the positional game. Is it S tier? No. Is it A tier? Most likely. I'm going to slot it in that spot again, B plus, A minus, depending on the player. If you enjoyed this, please let me know by thumbsing the video up, subscribe for more, and I will see you again very soon.